I will discuss our recent findings regarding the expression of TLR4 and phosphostat 3 on circulating tumor cells in patients with metastatic breast cancer, uh, which were presented in uh, the ESMO Breast 2021. Well, uh, circulating tumor cells, known as CTCs, are detected in the peripheral blood of patients with solid tumors, and these cells have a key role in the metastatic process. The detection of the CTCs in patients with uh, metastatic breast cancer is associated with high risk for disease progression and death. Uh, besides uh, their detection, further phenotypic analysis of CTCs contributes to the understanding of mechanisms underlying metastasis and also has a significant translational application, such as uh, patient monitoring and uh, treatment tailoring. Uh, we have previously shown that a CTCs undergo phenotypic changes in order to increase their potential to survive in uh, the peripheral blood. And we also know that um, tumor cells exploit different mechanisms in order to escape from the immune surveillance. And in this context, we have uh, shown that um, Immune checkpoints such as CD47 and PD1 are frequently expressed on CTCs, and that uh, the detection of these cells in breast cancer is associated with uh, patient outcome, poor patient outcome. Um, we also know that the toll like receptor 4 and uh, the STAT3 proteins, uh, they both have a role in the inflammation and the innate immunity. And we know that uh, both these molecules promote the tumor immune evasion when expressed on tumor cells. However, current evidence most come from uh, preclinical models and uh, tumor tissues, whereas their role in the peripheral blood needs further investigation. So we hypothesize that uh, TLR4 and STAT3 signaling pathways may be activated also on CTCs and could be associated with breast cancer progression. And to explore this uh, hypothesis, we analyzed the peripheral blood of 100 patients with metastatic breast cancer at the baseline of first-line treatment. And uh, using fluorescence microscopy, uh, we detected and characterized their CTCs according to TLR4 and the phosphorylated, which means the activated uh, STAT3 protein. Uh, we found that DLR4 and STAT3 are frequently expressed on CTCs of breast cancer patients, and they are also co-expressed on the same cell in about 40% of CTCs. And overall, 18% of patients had detectable CTCs that were positive for any marker. And uh, we also observed that the CTCs expressing, uh, co-expressing the two molecules prevailed in patients with triple negative breast cancer, and were not detected in any patient in the hard to positive cohort. Uh, regarding patient outcome, we show that the detection of TLR for positive CDCs was associated with a reduced progression-free survival. And finally, in the de novo metastatic disease uh, cohort, the detection of CDCs that were positive uh, for TLR4 or phosphostat 3 and especially the detection of CDCs that um, where positive or any marker was strongly associated with reduced survival rates. And in particular, it was interesting that the difference in the median progression free survival was almost two years, uh, while the difference in the median overall survival was more than four years. So overall, these results provide the first evidence that the TLR4 and the phosphostat 3 are expressed on CDCs with clinical relevance in breast cancer and thus indicate a role of these two signaling pathways in breast cancer progression. And this finding also suggests that the CTC detection and phenotyping according to TLR4 and phosphosat 3 could serve for the refinement of a prognosis in metastatic breast cancer.